all the videos that we've been making lately exposing what the system is doing and our fraudulent paperwork all of that is taught to the freemasons at the lower rungs now <laughs> i've never joined the freemasons and i never would i never had to sell me soul to find out this information but at the lower rungs this is what they know they know all about you know writing in red people being civilly dead four corner rule quantum grammar all that kind of stuff and from someone that i met before that was a farmer journalist he was telling me that every sergeant in the uk and he, he says i'm most certain it's the same here in ireland but every sergeant is part of the masons and you pretty much will not become a sergeant or even get that high up in the police the guards unless you're a freemason so um one point when you're being initiated you get to a certain level apparently this is what he told me it gets to a point when they bring in the crucifix and they ask you to spit on it and if you don't do that they usually tell you oh that that's what we were hoping you do well done and you usually just stay at the lower rungs and um, if you do do that you go higher up the ladder it basically means that you're willing to do anything really and you go straight towards satanism because there's a lot of ex 33rd degree freemasons that have come out and exposed what goes on the rituals and things that they do drinking out of schools and yeah all kinds of sick things but um when it gets to the 19th degree as you get into the higher degrees um you're given morals and dogma which is albert pike's book who's a, a 33rd degree mason and how they start you off um in these little initiating rituals they blindfold you uh tie a rope around one of your legs and drag it across the floor and then they usually get you to face south south really represents down and they never get you to face north because north represents god up above so they get you to face south kneel down and a big spotlight will be put on them but of course they're blindfolded and they're asked to um pray to the light and ask what they desire most say it to the light and the light is what gives them all of their their power and it represents them becoming more enlightened but what happens is that when you get into the further higher degrees uh, as i said in the 90th degree you're given albert pike's book where he admits in morals and dogma that the light you're actually worshipping you find out in the higher degrees of freemasonry the light you're actually worshipping is lucifer because lucifer is the light bearer light bringer the morning star and it's also highlighted in another 33 degree freemasons book the secret doctrine helena helena blavatsky is her name and she is the one who started um the lucis trust which was formerly called lucifer publishing but they had to change the name because it was just too obvious that they're really all satanists and you don't find that out until you reach the higher levels of freemasonry but just thought that would be an interesting thing to tell people about that this is the kind of thing that the masons know how to, to get past the system send back their fines and uh, all the elites and that and the politicians this is what all their kids get taught in school they don't get taught what the likes of me and you were taught 